everybody, my name is Deja and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over my June TBR. So I actually just filmed this video, but the lighting was really weird because the settings on my camera changed to manual, so the lighting kept changing and it was a mess. So I'm just going to refilm it. But hello, I haven't seen y'all in a while. Long time no see. Um, I actually made a vlog where I talked about where I was more, but that vlog kind of flopped, so it will not be seeing the light of day. Normally when I take a break, it's because I'm not in the mood for books or for booktube or anything like that, but this time I actually had a really, really bad April when something really dramatic happened to me. I actually had a lot of good moments in April too, but this one thing kind of like really traumatized me, and I kind of fell off with everything. I literally didn't go to class for like three, four weeks until the end of the semester, and then I had finals. So like I really fell off with everything, because if y'all know, school is like one of the most important things to me and so the fact that I didn't go for three weeks almost a month says a lot about what really happened and then I moved home so y'all can see I'm back home this is my bookshelves I know for a while too when I was home I was filming upstairs in my room but I decided to bring it back to the bookshelves in front of my um thrillers and my romance and classics and contemporaries and my little stranger things pop figures also have y'all watched season four yet part one let me know if you have you can chat about it in my dms because i just finished it the day that i'm filming this and i have thoughts and feelings but i would love to talk about it if you watch it but yeah that's all i really wanted to say i don't want to ramble too long but i'm back and i'm doing much better so hi hello i'm deja nice to see you again so for june i'm participating in two readathons one of them i am hosting and that is strange thon and strange thon is taking place from june 20th to the 26th and this is a readathon that we're hosting for the second year in a row for my stacks of strange book club which hosted by me and a whole bunch of other people let me see cat amy crystal rain marcy molly and i think me i think that's it i think there's just seven of us carol carol i almost forgot carol carol i didn't forget you carol as well so there is those eight of us but we host this readathon in june so instead of doing a book pick we just host this week-long readathon it's really fun and we're really chill so all of our prompts are pretty vague and you don't even have to read strange books if you don't want to we have a lot of different templates and stuff like that so i'll make sure to link our instagram and everything down below we also have a discord so we're going to be chatting during strange -a-thon in that so if you want to join we would love to chat with y'all but um i'm going to get into my tbr for this and then i will talk about my other book club and then the other readathon and then other books besides that because this tbr is quite large so the first challenge is different format which can be interpreted in any way where like if you don't really read ebooks read an ebook if you don't really listen to audiobooks read an audiobook if you don't really read physical books read a physical book if you want to read like a graphic novel or a manga or a comic or you want to read a book that actually has like a different format like where it's mixed media or something like that for this one i'm just gonna go with a book that's an arc okay because i don't read my arcs as much as i should so it's different for me i mean i definitely read arcs but not as much as i should so i'm gonna go with an arc and that is what moves the dead by t king fisher i believe this book does come out in july i don't think it's already come came out but um, we read a T. King Fisher book actually a couple months ago, and I liked it, but not too much. I thought it was going to be more horror than fantasy, but it was definitely more fantasy and not as horrific as I wanted. But I do want to try out more of her work because I have hope that she can write something that I really like. And this is her newest one. I have no idea what it's about, but I have the arc of it, and the cover is really intriguing. And I'm also going to use this for the prompt that says strange cover because it has a rat on it. So that's really like interesting I guess. The cover, I actually really like it, but it is quite strange. The next prompt is Backlist Book, and this can also be interpreted in whichever way that you want. I personally do a book that's not published in our current year, so for me, anything that's published in 2021 or before, but the book that I'm picking was published in 2019, I believe, and that is Feed by Aveda Vice, and this one is a romance with a succubus and I believe some other creature, but I can't remember, and I'm also going to be reading this for the other readathon as well, and this one is um, is a novella so it's super short so that's why I put it for both readathons because they only overlap for a day but it's so short I I could definitely count it and I'm counting this for non-human main character as well for the last prompt that's LGBTQ rep which I actually could count feed for this because I believe one of the characters is bisexual but I really want and I refuse to read you've lost a lot of blood because things have gotten worse since we last spoke was one of my favorite books of last year so this one has been one of my most anticipated of this year and I need an excuse to read it because I still haven't read it so this is my excuse this is what I'm going to be reading for this prompt hopefully and that one's also really short so I chose two really short books and then one like normal size book and then I also have like a maybe that I might just tack on and that is Sundial by Katrina Ward. I don't know if this one's particularly weird but I heard that The Last House on Needless Street is a little weird and I also have an arc of this one that I never read so I would really like to get around to it and 
bring up that neck alley score. And then the other book club that I'm a part of is Swoon Sisters, and that is the romance book club that I host with Nicole from Who Picked This Book. So for the books that we read, we've actually shifted from having us pick the books based off a trope to us giving you like three, four options per month and y'all voting for it. And we are actually going to be posting the polls for the next round, for the next quarter soon. So if you would like to vote, make sure to head over to our Instagram and Twitter because that's where we post the polls. And we also have a Discord and we would love to chat to y'all in it because we're both pretty bad at Discord, but we want to use it more. So we would love to have more of y'all over there. But for our May book, it was uh, The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. And I'm probably going to finish it before the end of May. It is currently May 28th. Um, but I have a couple days like four days to read it because I'm starting it today so I may finish it but if I don't I just wanted to mention it here and our live show for this is going to be June 5th which is a Sunday so by the time this goes up you all should still have a couple days to read it if you would like to join us it's going to be at 8 p.m EST on my channel so I would love to see y'all there and then for June our book club pick is going to be Haunting Adeline both these books do have trigger warnings that we've listed on our Instagram so um, in case people do want to know the triggers I would check there and I would say also do your own research if you have certain triggers for any of the books I mentioned on my channel because I personally don't get triggered by a lot and I know some people have like pretty unique triggers and I can only do so much research if I haven't read the book yet because I can only go off what other people say since I haven't read it for myself but I did do some research and found some triggers for both those books as well but Haunting Adeline I've heard good things about um I'm no it's just really dark it might have some stalkery vibes can't really remember but I'm really excited to read it and our live show for this should be July 3rd not set in stone but we normally do the first Sunday of the following month I've heard that you should read Satan's Affair before you read this which is a novella and they're technically not part of the same series at least on Goodreads but I've heard to read that one first so I will definitely be reading that one in June and probably Haunting Adeline. Then the second readathon I'm going to be participating in is the Queer Romance Readathon which is taking place from the 13th to the 20th and there is a whole bunch of hosts for this. The main one that I know of is Beautifully Bookish Bethany who I love and this one I really wanted to participate in because obviously it's Pride Month. I don't really own that many queer romances. Most of the books that I own that are queer are not romances or I've already read them. So a lot of these I don't own but I'm excited to participate nonetheless and there's a bingo board for this. I'll pop the picture up and I'm going with the second vertical row from the right. And so the first prompt for that one is Indie Author and for that I'm going to go with Zenny by Rebecca Weatherspoon. This one is the second book in a series. I read the first one, Rafe, and I enjoyed it. And I know the main character in this is bisexual, or I believe both characters might be bisexual, but they're in a hetero-looking relationship, and I like that a lot. I think that's a really unique representation that we don't see, but I'm really excited to read it, especially because it's a black author, so I'm really excited to read it, and I believe it's quite short. The next prompt that I have is Male Male Romance by a gay author, and for that I'm hoping to go with Raven Song by TJ Klune. This is the second book in the Wolf Song series. These books do tend to be quite long, but the first one I read, I believe, in July lie of last year so it's almost been a year and it like literally ripped my heart out. it was one of my favorite books of the year and I just adored it so much I cried like sobbed like no other so I really would like to continue on in this series and it fits this one perfectly it's a man male romance by a gay author next prompt is book by a black author and I could go with Zenny for this one but I'm gonna go with the group book and that is Drag Me Up by RM Virtues let me put it over here um this book I do own and it's a Hades Persephone retelling and I know this is by a trans author so this book has asexual representation it's by a trans author a black author they're Latinx um as well because I believe they're half Mexican um so they're also an indigenous author it's erotic romance and it's by an indie author. The author is disabled as well. And it's queer black love and it has bisexual representation. So there's a lot of rep in this book. And I saw this author on a live show and I just really like their energy and vibes and I wanted to support them. So I bought it. it Hades and Persephone retellings have been super popular right now and so I've been really wanting to pick this one up. The next prompt is female female romance and I didn't really have one that I really really wanted to read for this but I went with One Last Thought by Casey McQuinston because I actually own it but I don't know where my copy is. It was actually really beat up because I got it from Pango Books and it's the only book that I've ever gotten from Pango Books that wasn't like in amazing condition um, but I do own it. I've been wanting to read more of my physical TBR this year but unfortunately the two dramas that I read the most are the ones that I own less of so it's been like 50 50 but um i've been really scared of this one because i love i love 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 red white and royal blue and i've heard mixed things about this one but we'll see if i like it i know it has like time travel in it and i don't know how i'm gonna feel about that but again we'll see and then for erotic romance i'm going with feed by aveda vice which i said that i was going to count for this readathon 
And then I have a maybe for this one as well, and that is Let's Talk About Love. And I believe this one has Ace Rep, and I believe it's by a black author. But this one, I didn't really find to fit any of the prompts that I went with for this. But I was really intrigued by it when I was doing research on what books I wanted to read for this readathon. So I might try and squeeze it in, but we'll see. Again, my TBR is huge for this month. So now I'm just going to move on to some arcs that I want to read. As I said, I am definitely going to be reading What Moves the Dead by T. King Fisher, but I have a couple other ones that are coming out in June and July that I would like to get to. So the first one is The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. I love Riley Sager so much. His books are right here. I have not had one Riley Sager book that I did not like. Um, I definitely have favorites, but I enjoy every single one of his books. And this one seems to be like, it's going to be like a classic domestic thriller, but with Riley Sager twists. And Riley Sager knows how to mix things up and I love it. So I'm really excited to get to this one. I just got approved for it recently and it comes out at the end of June. So I definitely want to try and read it before the end of the month. And then the second arc that I'm going to talk about is Things We Do in the Dark by Jennifer Hillier. This one's also one that I'm really anticipating. It comes out in July and I read a book by Jennifer Hillier last year and I really enjoyed it. So I would love to read more of her work. This one is the one that's coming out and I have an arc of so I'm going to prioritize this one. And then I just have a couple books for different challenges that I do. So the first one is the 12 challenge and this one is 12 books recommended by 12 friends to read in 12 months and I'm actually a book behind for this one technically so I need to read two books to have re read six by the end of June. So the first one I'm going with is Her Soul to Take by Harley LaRue and this one is a romance about a demon who's trying to take this girl's soul and this one I'm really anticipating because Nicole from Who Picked This Book loved this book so much and a lot of my friends did actually but this one's also my 22 books to read in 2022 so this one's gonna hit two of my challenges. The other one that I picked is Survivor by J.F. Gonzalez, which has been recommended to me by McKay from McKay's book club. He's gotten a lot of people to read this, including Haley from Haley Hughes as well. And I've heard this one's like Pretty Girls, but on steroids. And I love Pretty Girls. And Pretty Girls is already really dark and graphic and intense and brutal. And it's what made me realize that I like things like that. Um, but I've heard this one's even more intense. So... Uh, I'm excited to see what that's like, to be honest, because I can't imagine it being worse, but apparently it definitely is, so we'll see. So then I also have my 22 books to read in 2022 challenge, and I talked about my 12 challenge and my 22 books to read in 2022 in a separate video, which I will link up above, so y'all can go watch that if you would like to know all the books on that list, and I am going to post an update soon on my Instagram stories of which ones I've read and saved it to save it to my highlights of 2022 reading, if you want to know. And I'm going to do a video at the end of June talking about my favorite books that I've read so far for the first half of the year and my first half of the year statistics, so I'll probably go over which once I finished and everything like that in that video as well. So that'll be coming at the end of June. But I need to catch up a little bit on this challenge. We need to read like three or four books this month. I have three here um, that I'm going to talk about. And the last fourth one, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to choose for that one yet. But I have these ones. And so in the summer, I decided for this challenge, I was going to read the books that scared me more or that were bigger or more out of my comfort zone genre-wise because I have more time. I'm not in school. Um, so the first one that I have is Jade City by Fonda Lee. I actually put this on my TBR to read in April but um, I ended up not reading in April. I don't know if I filmed a video for that though, but it was on my TBR for the Magical Readathon. But this one is pretty big. I haven't read fantasy in a while, but I heard this one's pretty easy to get into and it, um, it's kind of more new adult, so that's why it's not too scary, but it's still a little out of my comfort zone. And the other one that I have is Little Women, and this one is a classic and it is quite big, but you know, the pages are smaller. Like, it's a small book, so hopefully it's not too long, so you can see. It's a smaller book, um, but... Uh, I don't really read classics, but I've heard a lot of people who don't really like classics like this one, like Kayla from Books and Lala, and so yeah, <laughs> so hopefully I like it. And then I also chose Brother by Anya Alborn to try and read this month because I have been wanting to read this one too because it's about a cannibalistic family. It's giving Texas Chainsaw Massacre type vibes, so I'm really excited for that, but I've heard mixed things. People were like really loving this, but then now people are also saying it's not as like graphic as they wanted it to be, so we'll see how I feel about it. And the last challenge is the Buzz Wordathon challenge, but I haven't participated for two months but again I didn't really read so it's okay but the word for this month is all and so I decided to go with a call for kelp because a call all all you, you see, see it, it? Yeah, okay. This is the fourth book in the Seaside Cafe Mystery Series, and I really like the series. It's perfect for the summer because it takes place at the beach and it's a cozy. I've read the first three in this series, and I kind of just got 
not sick of it. Like, this series is really good, but obviously Cozy Mysteries have a formula, and so I kind of just got over it. So I decided to hold off to read the rest of the series this summer. So those are all the books on my TBR for this month. I hope you all enjoy it. I know this was a big TBR, but I have a lot of things that I want to participate in while I can in the summer because all I'm doing is working. I'm not doing anything else, and... In two weeks I have three days off and one shift I'm only working five hours so that week's gonna be fantastic but poor it'll be okay um but that's all I have for this video today I would love to hear if y'all are participating in these readathons or my book clubs or if y'all just have read any of these or plan on reading any of these just talk to me in the comments I love to hear from y'all and I would love if you could subscribe if you're not subscribed already but that's all that I have for this video today and I'll see y'all on my next one bye everybody Trying to look like you're winning I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen Soaking in moments we live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on